name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Makabwanji. You're awake today? All right, just the mamas. How are you awake today? Yes. <laughs> That's good. No, we're happy to see you all, and uh, we missed you very much. Today we're following a parable in the Bible, um, an interesting parable from Luke chapter 20. We can follow together <clears throat> Luke 20 verse 9 to 19. It's talking about an owner of a vineyard or an owner of like a farm, right? And he gave the farm to the people to, to bring fruit. And they didn't bring fruit. So he sent people saying, messengers to them, say, hey, I don't see any fruit. The owner was upset. So he sent people, hey, can you bring me some fruit? And they beat that guy up. And they beat this one up. So finally he sent his son, the owner sent his son to the people and saying, hey, you're not bringing any fruit in my farm. You're not bringing anything back. So they killed the son. And of course, you know, the story means that the son is our Lord Jesus Christ. And how many times did God send a message to his people through prophets and kings and leaders and servants and priests and bishops and we rejected it and of course he had to give his only begotten son as a sacrifice for all of us so this is kind of what the parable is talking about today so I want to go into a little bit more than that <laughs> Twenty <laughs> Then he chimozi mozi mwini wa munda anatuma mwana waki Mwana waki futi uja anapaiwa Nga tukona mwintano, tukona mwana Uja anatumi wa nitate Ukala Yesu Kristo Anapo ina pasigo ya pansi Pamene ife tinakana mao Yamene wanene li wazibusa Wanari kukamba stay kumba Mwana wa mutuma chimozi mozi tinamupa I wonder today if the ones who rejected God is us maybe in some way we've ignored God's voice maybe God has been trying to speak to all of us maybe when God's been trying to send people to us and we've kind of rejected him like today so when we look at the story today we said how could they do that how could they kill the owner's son how could they reject the people but we need to look at it more deeply that maybe we're the ones rejecting God. I know f personally, sometimes I wonder if I am producing fruit for God. If I am fruitful for God. I wonder if we are in that situation. I wonder sometimes if we are making the Lord happy. Are we making the Lord happy? Are we pleasing the Lord? Or... Am I rejecting him, ignoring him, not spending enough time with him? I don't know, but today is kind of two sides to the story. One side is, I accept you. I agree, I'm not fruitful. Forgive me, help me to change that. Another side is, that's not about me. Abuna, you must be talking about somebody else who rejected God. You must be talking about somebody else who ignored God. I don't know. But all I know is, are we fruitful? Are we bringing blessing in this world? Are we bringing encouragement and light and, and life to this world? Or are we kind of just ignoring and trying to pass the time? And I managed to get to church on Sunday. My life during the week is normal, average. I don't know. But maybe God today is trying to give us alarm. Hey, wake up. I have a message for you today. <laughs> Ambiye Mulongo, Kabel Namkana Mulongo, Pitram Zosia Siana, 
mulongo anatuma anthu kuti atalikira otenga tinayakana mawo kapena ife tikamba tiyai aya mawo siyai ne iyai kapena kuti wina wacha amena na mwibala mulongo koma funso ne yakuti kuti inu mumaleta zipaso za za ambiye mulongo kodi inu mumambesa bwino ambiye mulongo ambiye mulongo akala okondo ina chikwa cha inu kodi inu zifuse ni nunoka aya mawo ni ya ini na ine na imwe gati tikuleta mawo ya bwino apena tikulimbisa anthu ena apena ndife tikusita bwana kuchosa ando kuchita zoeka apena ndife tikukana mawo ya mena ambe mulongo alikamba aya mawo ya kubwela ife lero here's a question we should be asking ourselves today <coughs> do i make god happy or not <laughs> do you have an answer for that Do you make God happy or not? Let me tell you how to make God happy. Let's open up to 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27. I'm going to tell you what it's going to take to bring fruit in our farm. I'm going to tell you what it's going to take to please God. I'm going to tell you what it's going to take to win, not lose. Here we're supposed to win an inheritance from God. That's what they were looking for the people in the farm. They said, "Oh, we want to we want to we want to get an inheritance. Let me kill the son so I can take an inheritance." So let me tell you today how we can make it. How we can please God and win this inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. It's going to start from 1 Corinthians 9:27 from today. 1 Corinthians 9:27 says, "But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection lest when i preach to others i myself should become disqualified here is the thing the people today in the farm who rejected the voice of god they were disqualified they didn't win but the way for us to please god is discipline i know you guys are going to hate that word i hate that word do you know what discipline means discipline does anybody know it means controlling yourself and controlling your behavior for a long period of time i'll give you an example if i discipline myself from watching too much tv means every day i limit i'm not going to watch tv today i'm not going to watch i'm i'm controlling my behavior not to do something does that make sense i'm controlling now you're probably wondering you say oh buna well that's kind of hard How can I control myself? Well, listen. If you want to win, here's one phrase I need you to understand. You need to discipline to win. Discipline to win. That's all I want you to know today. Discipline to win. Can we say that together? Discipline to win. Discipline our body, discipline our mind, discipline our behavior. We're too loose with ourselves. You know the people in the farm today? They said, "Let me do whatever I want." If I bring fruit or no fruit, who is the owner? What can he say to me? What can he do to me? Well, the owner was very upset, so he sent people, "Hey, please change yourself, bring fruit." He sent his only begotten son, and they killed him. And what happened at the end of the story is they lost the inheritance. Now, here is the thing. You come to church every week. What are you looking for? <clears throat> I believe you're looking to win an inheritance. in the kingdom of heaven. I believe you come to church because you want to make God happy. You wouldn't come to church unless you want to. you want to make God happy. Isn't that right? If you want to make God happy, discipline to win. We have to learn. Look what it says in 1 Corinthians. Discipline my body so I don't be disqualified. If we don't learn to discipline ourselves and control ourselves, we're going to lose an inheritance. You probably say I'm not disciplined. I disagree. How many of you go to school? Raise your hand. How many of you go to school? How many of you go to school every day? Monday through Friday. Yeah. You go to school. How many of you go to work Monday through Friday? Raise your hand. Yes. That's discipline. <clears throat> Can you go to work at 11 hours? No. You go to work early in the morning and you have your time. You're disciplined. Actually, you're very disciplined. Now we need to learn how to be disciplined with our body. with our spiritual life discipline to win that's what god wants to say to us today
Ati niza kuzani kwa hini za mene mfuniko chita kutu mkono lese kambi ya mbunogo Chwe yamba mzile mekeze Imwe mweka Kati mwini mzile mekeza kutu mwine za mene mkare omule mekomu Omkondo lesa mbunye mbunogo mza kwa nilisa Kambi hini wafusa fuso kutu ni wangatu wa mene wamaenda kusukulu Ati mazile mekeza mwamaenda kusukulu ntawe ya mene kufunikila Ni wangatu walipenda kunchito Si mga hende kunchito na chogo kroko Kunchito wala kupisha ni nchito. So mazile mekeza. Muzi wa ntawe ya kutabwani. Yowende la kunchito. So tifuniko ziwa kutabwani. Kuzile mekeza. Tenti zile mekeza. Kwa utambuye mungu wa kutabwani. Wakale woko nwela. Tichite zonzi. Tamina mungu wa kutabwani. Kwa kutabwani. Kufuni sisa. Tika mfune kuchita zotele. Kwa kutabe kuzile mekeza. Wapaza chisanzo. Kwa kutino. Mufuna ti. Musatambe. Kapena ni kanema. Kapena ni kivi. Muzi azile mekeza, tisinufunu tama zotele, tisinufunu shita zotele. Kati mwa shita zotele, muza kwa nisa, mkondo lesa, ambie mwongo. So nufunu kwa shita buwani. Gatari kuwerenga mbuku ya wakoli nito oyamba, chapter 9, verse 27. Ili mkamba, if, tifunu kwa shita buwani, mkondo lesa mwongo. Here's the problem. Can I be honest with you today? I don't want to put you to sleep, but I want to say something. You know what's fighting against discipline? You know why we're not disciplined? Because we want the easy way. I'll give you an example. If you had a choice to work long years to make money for your future, your retirement, or would you rather just win the lottery, one million dollars? Which one would you rather have? We'd have the easy way, right? We're always looking for the easy way to make money. Sometimes we even take it illegally, or do we take shortcuts to get money? Not working hard every day. For those in school, wouldn't it be easier just to give you a certificate saying you passed the exam? To study day after day after day after day after day? No, I don't like it the hard way. And you don't like it the hard way. We like it the easy way. You know what's fighting against our discipline? Our spiritual life is easy, relaxed. Every one of us wants it easy. Wouldn't it be easy to just have a lot of food in your home, not work for that food. Like we want to just like, that's what they wanted today. The parable is explaining, they wanted to stay in the farm, to make money and bring no fruit. What? You can stay in a farm, make no money and make no fruit, make no, and just stay there and take money and take from the boss? No, it can't work like that. They wanted it the easy way. If you want it the easy way, you'll get nothing at the end. I promise you. We're always trying to cut corners, shortcuts. Let me try to find an easy way to get money. Let me try to find an easy way to do my spiritual life. Let me come to church for a few hours and pray and, and that's it. No one wants to labor in their spiritual life. No one wants to every morning wake up and sit with God for one hour or 30 minutes or 20 minutes. We don't want to do that. It's too hard. We want the easy way. Easy way will not get you the kingdom. Easy way will actually not get you anything in this world. So discipline to win. Discipline is controlling yourself, making good habits every day, making good habits every day, controlling the, the evil things and putting the good things. It's a discipline of your body, your mind, your life. We don't like that. That's, we like the easy, the shortcuts. Shortcuts won't work. Ask yourself this question right now. Are you taking shortcuts in your life? Are you doing something the easy way or are you disciplining yourself day after day with your life with God and your life out in the world? Ask yourself that question now. But his discipline is to win. <laughs> Kukapena kusebeza zaka zambili o kapena kuwina rotari Vambili tufuna chape chapa fupi Kapena nimine kwa chape rotari Kapena anga kena wina rotari nikari chana tumamili yon tuwambili Ia hii kenti kare ushabwani wazile mekeza Ngati wakala wazile mekeza tisa kala ushabwani Wawina kala ufumu wa kumamba Ngati chape tazile mekeza takuwa nisa kusebezela za uzimu that's the place that you have. God, Chabe, we know that you have to go to the church. 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 You have to go to the church.
wazifunza fuso kwa ndine nifuna za za pakupi kapena nifuna msebenzere ambie mulungu kati mazifunza hizo fuso mzazi pesa mumalo ya ambie mulungu so to be fruitful and to make god happy and to win the kingdom it's discipline to win look here's the problem when you turn on the tv and you hear the news when you hear sports you hear people are taking performance enhancement drugs to run faster illegal drugs to run faster they win the race then they were discovered wait a minute these guys took drugs they're disqualified how many times have we heard that we hear it all the time we're always trying to find shortcuts in life athletes people at work i remember i used to go to work before i was a priest some days i was so tired at work i would go to the computer i would turn the computer on i would i would i would put my hands on the computer and i would fall asleep like this and my boss when he would come by he would just see behind he's oh he's on the computer he's doing okay but i would be sleeping right and i think that and, and there's so many times i cheated my time at work i don't know about you but sometimes we try to knock off early and come in late right we try an easy way and at work we try to make it as easy as possible at work we try to find the easiest way to work right and that's in school we try to find the the lowest possible thing to do so we don't have to study so much this is not how this is not discipline easy way will not get us the kingdom discipline to win what is it discipline to win if you have discipline you'll get the kingdom not only the kingdom everything down here down here what do you want out here you'll get it with discipline without discipline without like commitment daily in your in your life and doing the maximum not the minimum you're not going to win anything these guys these vineyards these farmers they, they wanted the easy way so do we we want the shortcuts why do you think people steal why do you think people steal money they want the easy way why do you think there's something called corruption you ever heard of the word corruption we hear it all the time why do you think easy way the hard way the discipline way is the way of god that's the way to win that's our way that's why first corinthians says discipline your body or you'll be disqualified it's very clear discipline to win so we have no other option brothers and sisters but to be serious and committed in our spiritual life our physical life our marriage why do you think people <clears throat> why do you think there's so much divorce the man or the woman wants it the easy way i want my wife but i want a girlfriend also what you want everything you want all those things no every day be with your wife go home to your kids take care of your kids spend time with your kids be disciplined in your family life no 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 i want my wife to be at home with the kids while i go and do my other thing what <clears throat> That's not discipline that's foolishness. That's what they wanted today in the vineyard. They wanted to do whatever they wanted. No. Discipline to win. Figure that out. Your life will be happy here and you'll please him up there, okay? Atende tuna mikeza ife tuwine ufumwa kumamba. Tufunika tuwazile mikeza. Kutule mikeza sakare mokalaja mapfamu waja kapena waja pakuja kumunda. Waja pakuja kumunda vezo tuna sindu chate za pakupi. Chimo zumo zina ife watu pata chisa za busa wanali kuchito kapena wanali kuseleza wanakala pa computer kasi wali kukusila. Pamena wanali kukusila paja wabosa wali kukwela kasi wachache kumanja so kasi ni wogoni. Wabosa wakaba uyo aseleza kasi ya wanali kunama mabosa. Tufuna chate za pakupi ndawe zote. So tisa chite zote ya ya tendikare woseleza mamene tikale woselemekeza pasuwa samene kufuniko chita wa uti ife tiwine ufumwa kumama tiendi zilemekeza laki wa zilemekeza ife teka zakara uwina ufumwa kumama sakare munga waja wa wakumunda waja wetufuna chate zindu wakutenga chate kuliposi kapena wakutenga chate kuliposi wewe suwa kupasa zipasa tiendi kare wapasa zipasa ambie mulungu afuna zipasa wakati manjife
sakale mwana hiyo wamena walikuba kapena mwana hiyo walikufuna zapa zapa fupi jezi kale woseweza jezi kale wosemekeza wakuti ifu tuwine ufumwa wa mamba say no to shortcuts say no to shortcuts say no to the easy way discipline to win listen to this first open your bibles with me second timothy open together second timothy 25 second timothy chapter 2 verse 5 open with me i want to show you what it means to discipline to win second timothy chapter 2 verse 5 listen to what it says and if anyone competes in athletics he is not crowned unless he competes according to the the rules here god is not talking about sports if you can live your life according to the rules you will not win you can't make your own way sorry you can't have it the easy way sorry i know that so many times people tell me when they're studying for school they say abuna we're looking for the the leakage i said what's leakage is 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 the pipe leaking i don't understand what leakage is I said leakage i said what's leakage they said hey you can get like leakage and what's the answers to the test i said how is that going to help you no it will help me pass the exam i said how is that going to help you if you pass the exam but you don't know anything about the about the about the work i said that's the easy way but the foolish way isn't the better way to learn the material isn't the hard way to learn the material and to discipline yourself that's the way we should go Christians in this church today please don't accept the easy way say no to it if someone comes to you at work or school and says here here's money here's the answers to test say look i don't need that money i don't need the answers i don't need the easy way i want the hard way i'm a christian i know that it takes hard work to win the kingdom of heaven i know it's not easy to live a good life a holy life i know to be holy nowadays is so hard isn't it when you say is there a holy person in this world we say there's not many abuna there's not many holy people nowadays but we are the holy people because we discipline ourselves discipline to win second timothy is clear that we have to do it according to the rules discipline to win when someone comes up to you and shows you another way question it refuse it say no i don't do that i discipline my body so i can win the kingdom Look. Discipline to win. Let's say it again so we can remember it. Discipline to win. Again. Look, I'm I'm not saying I'm perfect at discipline. You know me, every time I go to America, I stay 1 month and I come back 7 kgs heavier. Is that true or not? Why are you laughing? You can laugh, it's okay. You can laugh. You can laugh, it's okay. There, I don't know what happens. Every family member thinks I'm not eating. They feed me 100 times. So, this time I try to be more disciplined. No, thank you. No, thank you. I no thank you. I try to say no thank you to as much food as possible. It was hard. So instead of gaining 7 kg, I gained about 1.5 kg. It's better, right? It's better. <laughs> It's better than before. You know what I was doing? I was trying to reject certain foods and I was trying to get up every morning to do exercise. I was trying to get up every morning to do some kind of exercise. I'm be honest with you. 
Okay, I said, I can't, I can't go on vacation, come back 7 kg. Heavier. Now you, you laugh at that, but that's discipline. If you can say no to certain... Some of you love food more than me, so don't laugh at me. Some of you love food a lot. It's, it's hard to say no to some of that shimo and jira and all that cuckoo and all that food that you love. Right? It's hard to say no when food is thrown at you all the time. But that's discipline. We can't eat whatever we want. We can't do whatever we want. Right? That's discipline. We should be exercising every day or every other day. We should be disciplining ourselves in fitness and in food, in spiritual life, at work, at school. We should be disciplined. Discipline is how we win. But being lazy and doing whatever we want and wanting the easy way, that's what gets us in trouble. We're always looking for the easy way. When I was in America, people came up to me and said, Abuna, I want to come attend church with you. But tell me, what's the last moment I can come to church and still take communion? And I said to you, why are you asking me the last moment you can come to church so I can still take communion? I say, why don't you tell me, why don't you say, Father, I want to come pray with you. What time does the service begin? They said, no, 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 I'm not coming from the beginning. I want to come the last moment before I, I can still take communion. I said, that's not the way to look at life. That's how we are, isn't it true? I'm also the same way. We're trying to find the easiest possible way to live our life. No. I tell you, that's not the way of Christians. Look in the Bible, does any Christian have it easy? Look at the cynic, same with all the saints. Does any of them have it easy? No. If you want to win, it's discipline to win. It's the hard way to win. Easy way, shortcuts, lying, stealing, cheating, corruption, putting some money to get what you want. Discipline to win. Discipline our bodies. Discipline our spiritual life. Discipline everything. If someone comes to you this week and says, hey, try this, say no. I'm disciplined. I'm disciplined. Discipline is how we win the inheritance. I tend to the resources I mean to put When I put the to the Mm-hmm. <laughs> Last verse I'm going to give you and we're done. Open up your Bible again to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 24. Everyone together. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 24. It says, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. We're all running the race. Only one receives the prize. The one who runs the right way. Please, guys, Run your life the right way. Run this race the right way. Don't accept shortcuts in your life. Don't accept the easy way. Discipline to win. Every day at work, you have a chance to do something wrong. You have a chance to do something the easy way. Do something the hard way. Do the best you can at work. Christians should be the best at work, not the ones who are the most lazy. In your marriage life, do the best you can with your spouse, your husband or wife, your kids. Give them all you have. Give them time. Discipline your, your family. Your spiritual life. Wake up in the morning. Don't wake up to run to school and run to work. Wake up to sit with God. Discipline yourself in the spiritual life. Discipline to come to church early, not the last possible moment you can. Discipline to come early to sit with God. Discipline to win. And don't accept any easy shortcut. People have been doing that for generations. At the end, they all lose. The way to win 
is discipline. I have a hard time sometimes with that, but I'm working on it. Some of us have a hard time with that. We should work on it. We should pray for it. But here it says in 1 Corinthians 9, 24, run the race to receive the prize, but run in a way that you can obtain it. Run the right way. Let's run this Christian life the right way. In conclusion, I don't want anyone to be disqualified. The people today in this parable were disqualified. They didn't, they didn't produce fruit. They didn't please the owner. They were disqualified. We're not going to be disqualified. We're going to win this inheritance. Discipline to win. Some of us have a problem with the phone. We're on the phone all day. Internet, internet, Facebook, Facebook, whatever, whatever. We need to discipline this phone to use it wisely. Use internet wisely. Discipline this also. Let's start doing this today. I know it's going to be hard. But I know that's the only way to win. Pray liturgy today. Say, God, I'm lazy. I do shortcuts. I want the easy way. Help me to be more disciplined in my spiritual life. You do that, you will win. You're winners. We are winners. Discipline your life. Discipline to win. Pray for one another. Pray to the Heavenly Father. Pray before the altar today and you will win. But leave here today thinking one thing. Think about one thing you want to discipline in your life. Just one thing. Maybe it's the way you do your marriage. Maybe it's something at work. Maybe it's something at school. Maybe it's something at home. Maybe it's exercise. Maybe it's spiritual. I don't know. But don't accept shortcuts anymore. It kills the life out of us. Discipline to win. You are a winner. Praying for you. Pray for me. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Thank you.